Hey guys, how you doing? Just picked up an unrated 10 minute against somebody rated 1043 and I'm just going to play something normal. May have to let my dogs in in a minute. Uh, okay, so I'm not going to go for any of these crazy lines now. I'm going to play the Gioco Piano and the Italian Gambit. Well, well, well. I never. What on earth is this? Now I can take that pawn. I've got three attackers on this pawn, yeah? So they've not pushed C3 first. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to capture. I'm going to capture. I guess if I capture with a knight, I actually hang this pawn. So let's capture with the bishop. I've never, never come across the Italian gambit in my life. But clearly it's just giving up a pawn. White now cannot capture the bishop with the, the queen for sure. Um, if he captures with the knight, I just recapture straight away with my knight and we're surely in a better position. Okay. And now the queen can't take. So now I have a knight in the center of the board. I'm very happy with that. Knight, uh, knight to f6 looks very natural attacking this undefended pawn. Note that I have no dark squared bishop anymore. So there's no kind of pins on the f pawn, stuff like that. I'm going to develop my knight. Why not develop? I'm thinking maybe d6 now. Yeah, d6. Get my bishop out. Okay, so it's hitting my knight. Makes sense. Um, I can come back here. This looks like a good square. It's defended by the bish. It's kind of in the bishop's way to some degree, but I can still play bishop d7, queen e7, long castles perhaps. We shall see. It needs to let the dog in. What's happened? Oh, F4. Really? F4. Okay, now if I take, as Bishop takes, it's free development, but I... Oh, no, he can't. He can't. He can't. If I take, they could take out my knight and then take with the Bishop, but if I take with the knight, no such option, yeah? I can still castle short. The Italian Gambit. What is the point of this? I think we should check this. Okay, well, I have to take the bishop. And I'm up two pawns. Hmm. I have bishop g4, counterattacking the queen. It's a thought. I have d5 counterattacking this bishop. But actually, if pawn takes knight here, I'm going to be in check. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to castle out of that. I'm not worried about this because I can take with the bishop. And if pawn takes, I can take with the queen. And that is nice, strong queen. So somehow, I've traded a piece for three pawns. Don't know how that's happened. My opponent's name is GM Robin San. Am I playing a grandmaster on a speed run? <laughs> I don't know. Lots of people put GM in their names. Okay. Bishop here is a thought, because if he trades off, I get to repair my pawn structure and then rebuild. Seems good. Knight may come in here. We shall see. I can still go queen here. In fact, I don't even need to defend the bishop because the pawn defends the bishop. I do need to defend the pawn, though, once it captures. That's the problem. So I can come here or here. Maybe rook a to e8. Okay, in comes the knight. So I think I'm all right with this move. Where did I lose a piece? We shall find out. More dogs, wait there. Dormant. You're up and down like a horse draws I am. Okay. Okay. Um, I could come here. 
Threaten to trade off the queen. Um, can't go there. Don't really want to go. I want to get out of line of that bishop. Uh, it's not like it's critical, but actually, white it is critical because white can move with check. But then I can capture with check. Actually, uh, I can capture the knight. So that's not too much of an issue. Can I even do this? I'd like to. There's a kind of a check here as well, but I don't know. Queen there looks kind of interesting. If I do this, what's the worst they can do? That is a double attack on the queen. I can get out of that. That is the only check I can take. Okay, let's let's roll the dice. Let's roll the dice. Have some fun. You can win a pawn. That's how you can win a pawn with a double attack on the queen. But then I come here, actually. And then... Bishop there. And the knight is defended, but... Oh, I don't know. There you go. Interesting. Check. Bishop can't block the check. Nor can the knight. So have I won the knight? Or am I playing a GM? I don't know. That's what's so exciting about it all. Okay, King has moved. <clears throat> and now, I declare I can win the knight. Now, the bishop can sack itself here, but it's no problem. This is a discovered tension between rooks. Very interesting game. Does it feel like I'm playing a 1000? No. But I am now up a piece. All right. Uh. Attacks, pawn. Pawn is defended. No worries. I kind of want to put my bishop here and pin this pawn. Pa -pa -pa pinning a pawn. Let's do that. I also opened up the e-file now, where I have my rook. He's still got a rook in the box here. This is a good bishop. Queen here or queen here. He's threatening to take on h7 with check. But because he's got no dark squared bishop, I think I'd be quite happy pushing g6 and making a little mini pyramid. I, I can have similar ideas as well with queen c6, and that actually comes with a fork and wins material. Okay, now he's threatening to come in with mate, so. Check. King takes. Doesn't work. Okay, g6 it is. Already declared I was quite happy with that move. So I'm actually three pawns up now, am I? Okay, two attackers on this pawn, only one defender. If I play queen c6 and he takes with the rook, queen defends g2. You must never assume that your opponent is going to make the move that you first thought of. They may play a better move. Here. Looks like a decent move. Just watching my back. Looks okay. So if he takes... Uh, can't really take. But it does... Oh, I can actually. Because the bishop is undefended on d3. So if pawn takes, I can take the pawn with check. Oh no, then queen takes and the bishop is defended. Aye. Curses. F5. Could be a move. Just general bishop blunting moves. <clears throat> and get my pawns on. Yeah, there you go. So what about, can I play rook e3? Let's see why not. Defends this. Also now this. Queen can't take. And then I do get to take the bishop. So. Is Robinson. Robinson. 
<sighs> You're going to figure that out. How have I never heard of the Italian Gambit in my life? Okay, he's defended the... Look, man, this, this, this dude's playing all right. Dude is playing all right. This hits the queen. This hits the queen. Queen can't go there, 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 there. Let's hit the queen. Whatever. Actually, taking here, rook takes, there with check. No again, queen takes, and I don't win the rook. Got to look ahead into... Now, however, now... Hello. I take. Rook takes. I take with check. Rook takes, and it defends his own rook. Oi! But, let's look at a different move order. Bishop takes. You're in check. You're, you're being forked. Okay? That looks good. But then I assumed that my queen could take there as well. That's a bit weird. But if rook takes, I simply win the rook. I'm plus two pawns at this point. And I do have a material threatening situation. One more dog, sorry. Up and down like a horse draws. Okay, so now we win the rook. Um, important thing is this bishop cannot move with check. If this bishop could move with check, it's good knight queen. All right, but very interesting position. So what what are we at? I'm up in exchange in a pawn. Exchange in two pawns. So my two pawn advantage is the three on one on the king side. And I'm fairly comfortable that this bishop is kind of blunted right now. I think a move like this would not be stupid. Line up my... Yeah, just get rid of this queen. Try and force that girl off the board. Also, even a move like, I mean, of, not now, not now, hunty, but maybe, you know, at some point in the future. Um, I could just go very simple like this. So the idea is move the rook with the discovered check, try and win the queen, or at very least force an exchange of trader rooks. Yeah. In fact, this wins the bishop. No, a queen can block in that instance. That is a double check. Is that checkmate, actually? Double checkmate? Not anymore. Not any ball. Would have been, I think. Okay. Let's go here with a check. Queen can't block there. Queen can, can't block there. Rook's got it. Okay. And now. And now. If I go here, my. Worried about that? No, I just take it. Okay, let's try it again. Try some cheekiness. Some cheeky behaviour. Opponents on two minutes. Yeah, I'm not playing a title player. Definitely not playing a title player now with the, 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 the speed that he's moving. So this is basically a free bishop. Oh, that's a pawn. Okay, this is a free bishop because it comes with check. He's got to get out of check on the next move. Um, or if queen here, he can't block. I think that wins the queen, doesn't it? Yeah? Queen can't take the rook because he's in check now. Okay, if queen blocks, just queen takes queen. Defended, game over. Wow, interesting stuff. GG, mate. GG. Let's have a look at this. This weird Italian gambit. 
I suspect there's a good reason why I've never come across it before. And I suspect the reason is that it's shite. Hang on. One blunder from me. And white was better in the middle game there. Okay. Here? Okay. This is the Italian gambit. Bishop takes his best. Okay, so I, I buggered up at some point. Yeah, knight takes his best. Okay, now, now black has an edge. Book move. Good. Best. Good. Retreat. Mistake. Best. Now I'm two pawns up. So where did I lose this piece? Not there. What the... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Brain fart. Brain fart. E. Okay. But we managed to get the momentum back. So right now, white is in a winning position, being a whole piece up. Um, I don't realise this at first. This is good move. Not the best move. What's the best move in this case? Okay, yeah. Just lining up with the king. Okay. Here. And this is a blunder. Why? Because we have a fork. Right, nice queen fork on these two pieces. And note, if the knight could move and block the check, it'd be fine. As it is, lost your knight. And that's it. So that one is going in my queen forks study for the benefit of all of our gang. And uh, there you go. Interesting. Well, thank you, GM Robin-san, for the game. Thank you for watching. See you soon.